What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to make a quick video on how to install Diablo 2 Reimagine 2.0. I am going to attempt to make this as clear and easy as possible so that if you are a visual learner, you can actually get this installed very easily and be done with it and move on with your life so that you can enjoy the game. So step one, you're going to need to go over to the Diablo 2 Reimagine Nexus mod page. I will leave a link in the description below where you can find it. Just click on the link and it should send you right here once you have done that i want you to go over to the second tab right next to where it says description it says files click on that now once you are here on this page you will be presented with two different files now the only one that you need is this first file right here unless you want to play a version of the game where you get two skill points per level and eight stat points per level if you do i will show you how to do that later but for now just go ahead and download this first one you're going to click on manual download Download. obviously you are going to need an account so if for some reason you do not have an account on nexus mods go ahead and sign up for that you can get it with a slow download speed or if you pay a little money you can get fast downloads which is actually what i have so now we see right here that we have received this file and if for some weird reason you do not know where to actually find the files you have downloaded all right you're just going to go to file explorer go ahead and click on downloads and right here we have the file that we need now after you have this zip file right here what I want you to actually do is go and find the shortcut for Diablo 2 Resurrected. Once you are there, go ahead and right click on that. After you right click on it, you're going to scroll down to where it says open file location. This will open up the directory for Diablo 2 Resurrected. This is where you need to install this mod so that you can actually enjoy and play it as well. Now there are different ways to do this. The way I am about to do it is simply what I feel is just straight up the easiest way to explain it and the easiest way to get this done. So what I want you to do is take this zip file and just boom, put it right here inside of this directory. Now that you have done this, go ahead and right click on this zip folder right here. I use 7-zip, but what you wanna do is go down to the option that says extract here. Once you do this, it will extract all the files that you need and put them exactly where they need to go. So we're going to do that. And there we go. So now you have a folder in your directory that says mods. And to make sure that you have done this correctly, I want you to click on mods. After that, you should see where it says reimagined. Click on that. And then you should see where it says reimagine.mpq. If you see this, you have done this correctly. But hold on, because we are not quite done yet. So the next step is going to be go to where it says d2r.exe. I want you to right click on that and then go down to where it says create shortcut. After you have done this, you're going to want to right click on that. After you right click it, you're going to go down to where it says properties. This is what should pop up for you. Okay, so we have done this part now and there's really only one more thing for us to do. And that is go over here. You see how it says target right here? And then it says uh, D or wherever your directory is. Blizzard, uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, D2R.exe. So directly after that, I want you to just push the space bar one time. You're gonna put a hyphen and put in the word mod. You're gonna make one more space then you're going to put in the word reimagined. Okay. Then you're going to space bar again, put in one more hyphen and put TXT. That's it. Now hit apply, push OK. Me personally, what I like to do is I will usually take this shortcut that we have created and I will copy this to my desktop so I have it there right now. Let me uh, fix the screen again because now you cannot see what the hell's going on. Okay, I got this fixed. I was just doing that because I want you to see that we have that shortcut there. Now, if you did this correctly, all you have to do at this point is click on the shortcut and start the game. And yep, here we are. This is my character from Diablo 2 Reimagined. And if you did it right, and you want to make sure you did it right, it will say D2R Reimagined version 
0.0.0 right here on the bottom. Now, if you're still here because you're waiting on me to tell you how to do the whole two skill points thing, we're gonna go back to the Nexus page for this. Go down the manual download, you're gonna download that. Only takes a second here. Okay, I'm gonna go and open up my download folder again. Now I have that right here. Now, again, go over to Diablo 2 Resurrected shortcut, not the reimagined one that we made, but just straight up resurrected. Right click, go to open file location. Now here we are. Now what you're gonna do is click on mods, go to reimagine, reimagine.mpq, go to data, go to global, go to Excel, and this right here is the holy grail of Diablo 2. So what I want you to do is go back over to that two skill point per level zip file that we got. Just go ahead and unzip that. Just extract it to the downloads page. It really doesn't matter where you do it. Uh, click on that. See right here where it says character stats.txt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, you're gonna drop it in here, and it will ask you if you want to overwrite the file. When it says that, go ahead and overwrite the file and you have just installed the 2.8 stat point version of Diablo 2 Reimagined 2.0. And that should be it. Now, before I go, I guess there is an issue going on right now where the game seems to be crashing for some weird specific reasons, but Colin and the modders over there at the Discord are working on it. They have been up all freaking night, just like me, which is why I seem so tired. <laughs> I'm sure they're tired as hell too. So, um, have mercy on those guys because they're probably sleeping, but I'm sure they will get it fixed. It doesn't look like anything major, and I think a lot of it could probably be resolved with just doing a fresh install. But what do I know? I'm just a guy that plays video games. But thank anybody for being here. Hopefully that helped you out if you were confused. And have a great day. I will see you guys in the next video. So, later.